how you can set your store products to show in only one currency. Now, to do this, you would have to make an effect into your store currency setting. To begin, all you have to do is click on the menu icon top right, just right here. Once you click on it, you would have this um, pop-up appear on your screen. Then you scroll down to your settings section. Now, if your settings section is closed, you want to click on it so that it opens up other options for you. Now, you're going to see different setting options. All you have to do is click on your store currencies. Once you click on it, you scroll down to the second store currency settings that shows you the currencies currently enabled on your store. Now, you can take out all the currencies that you don't want. For instance, if you want your store currency to only be in Nigerian Naira, all you have to do is uncheck all the other currencies that you no longer need. So I'm going to uncheck USD, GBP, GHS, KES, the South African RAN, TZ, TZS, and UGX. I'm going to update my store details. So once it's updated, you're going to see a success message saying, hey, your store currency changes have been updated. Now, I'll go ahead to um, confirm that this has been updated on my store. So all I, have to go to, all I have to do is click on this menu icon again, then scroll up and click on my store link. Once I'm on my store link, my store is going to load up. Now, at the top here, you're going to see the currencies that are available, currently available in your store settings. So all you have to do, click on this, and you're going to see here that there's no other currency dropping down, which means that your store settings is currently only set to Naira. Now let's go back and add some more currencies to see if there are changes that are going to be made. So I'll go back to my store currency settings right here, and then I'm going to re-enable USD and GBP, and then update my details. Now, again, my details have been successfully updated. I'll go back and refresh my store page. Okay, then I'll come back to the currency section here, and now you see USD and GBP have been re-enabled and they are the currencies currently showing on my store. All other currencies are no longer showing. So just like I mentioned before, if you want to make sure that this is only set to one currency, all you have to do is uncheck all the other currencies that you no longer need, and then you would have your, your store settings as one currency. And that is how you do it.